Do you want to host a virtual event but aren't sure where to start? Virtual events have been around for a long time, since the late 90s actually, but it wasn't until the COVID-19 pandemic that these types of events really took off. Everything became a virtual event. Birthday parties, baby showers, graduations, holiday gatherings, job fairs, you name it. And while in-person events will always feel different than online ones, there's still a ton of benefits from taking your event virtual. They're cheaper to run and allow participants to join no matter where they're located in the world. I'm Noel with JotForm, and today I want to share a quick virtual event guide that will help you plan, promote, and execute your event successfully. Let's go. You can make anything a virtual event. You can do something small and intimate like a virtual happy hour or a virtual trivia night. You can also host a larger virtual event like a webinar, live stream, trade show, or conference. If you're a company that's looking to host a virtual event, your event can be used for lead generation, sales, brand awareness, customer retention, community building, and new product development. The possibilities are endless. Get creative. Whether you're hosting a personal or professional virtual event, you need a plan. Once you've taken some time to nail down the type of event you'll host, you'll want to create a detailed plan of action. Here are some basics you'll want to think through during this part of the planning process. Will your event be live or pre-recorded? If it's live, what's a suitable date and time? Will you be hosting a free event or will participants need to pay? If it's paid, what's your pricing strategy? Do you have any limits to the number of participants you can have? Will you have presenters or speakers? If so, how many? And how will you find ones that are the right fit for your event? Lastly, will you have any sponsors or affiliates? Once you've worked through your basics, you'll want to get your registration process up and running. One simple way to gather registration is with JotForm's customizable registration forms. It integrates flawlessly with platforms like Zoom, GoToWebinar, and Livestream. You can also directly tie your registration forms with other platforms such as MailChimp, Slack, and Zapier. This way you can easily sync your registration process with all of the other software you already use to successfully organize and run your event. Once someone registers, the form can automatically send a notification to your team's Slack channel as well as a welcome email via MailChimp to the new registrant. Depending on the type of virtual event you decide to host, you'll need specific software to support it. If you're hosting a webinar or a conference, software like Crowdcast, Demio, RingCentral, GoToWebinar, and Zoom will all work. If you're hosting a live event via a live stream, software like Twitch, YouTube Live, and Facebook Live will be a better fit. If your event is more like a summit or trade show, then tools like Hey Summit, Remo, Hopin, Run the World, and AirMeet are worth looking into. So you've done all the hard work nailing down the logistics of your virtual event. Now it's time to promote. In order to reach your target audience and get some buzz behind your event, implement some of these tactics. First, share it with your email list. You can also write a series of blog posts promoting your event. Have one post announcing the event, a few posts with behind the scenes content to get people excited, and one recapping the event when it's done. Promote through social media channels like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and TikTok. Encourage your presenters, guests, and affiliates to share your event on their websites and social media channels as well. Encourage attendees to spread the word and make sure to make it easy for registrants to share the registration page with social media icons. There's no shame in the game of test runs. Doing a test run of your event before the actual day of said event is a really smart choice. It helps you plan for the worst and iron out any kinks ahead of time. We're looking at you, bad Wi-Fi connection. Here are some things you can check in advance during your event test run. Make sure signing into your virtual event software is easy to do and that it functions properly. Test the Wi-Fi connection. Check your audio levels and see if you need to have presenters use headphones or a portable mic. Check that webcams and presentation materials are functioning properly. Lastly, designate a backup plan such as a backup host if there ends up being any Wi-Fi, audio, or camera issues the day of. Okay, you did it. 
Your event went off without a hitch, and now it's time to gauge your participants' experiences at your event. It's a great rule of thumb to send a post-event survey to all participants. These surveys will allow you to understand what people liked about the event, identify any improvements for the future, and collect testimonials that you can use to promote your future events. If you're getting ready to plan your first ever virtual event, just know it doesn't have to be stressful. Just follow our tips and you'll be hosting successful virtual events for a long time to come. Let's review. To plan a successful virtual event, you'll want to first create a plan. Then set up your registration process. After that, choose the appropriate software for the type of event you're hosting. Next, promote your event and get people interested. Do a test run before the big day to iron out any wrinkles. And lastly, send a follow-up survey after your event to gauge how it went and what you can do better for the next one. I'm Noel with JotForm. We'll see you next time. <laughs>